Does your solid axle four drive drive terribly, making it hard to control even in a straight line? The fix might be a lot simpler than you think, and in this video, we're gonna be going over the common issue often overlooked when lifting a solid axle four wheel drive, and that is caster correction. Today, I've got the 76 series Land Cruiser here to help show you this common issue with lifted four wheel drives and exactly how you can fix it. So why is caster important? Well, let's break it down. Caster is the steering axis of your vehicle. So if you think of a shopping trolley's wheels, the front wheels have negative caster, and that allows you to steer that trolley from the back easily. For your four-wheel drive, you want positive caster. Without it, you'll get speed wobbles, poor straight line control, and your vehicle won't self-center correctly. So now let's take a look at this 76 and its alignment. We, this vehicle's fitted with a two inch lift, factory radius arms, and also offset rubber bushes. We already know that the rubber bushes are quite flogged, so we'll be interested to see what the caster angles look like still, but it's important to note that the caster will be slightly corrected because of those offset bushes. So you can better understand what we're about to go over. I'm gonna briefly explain what a wheel alignment's purpose is. And the purpose of a wheel alignment is to maximize your tire's contact patch. Now, when you lift your vehicle, you are changing the tire's contact patch to be a lot smaller, and that's the reason why you need to get a new alignment after you lift a vehicle or do some sort of correction to the alignment in order to maximize that tire contact patch once again. However, with solid axle vehicles, your radius arms geometry is fixed. And so when you lift your vehicle, the geometry is now no longer correct. So the radius arms job is to control your caster by holding the differential in a certain position. When you lift the vehicle, the differential moves because of the fixed radius arm mounts. And if we jack up the vehicle, we can see the differential angle changes, reducing the caster angle making the vehicle less stable at high speeds. As we can see though, the caster on this vehicle isn't too bad. Now that's because it has offset bushes already. It's important to note though that these offset bushes are made out of rubber and we can already see that these have basically failed and have cracked, allowing the, the alignment to change while the vehicle's driving. And we don't want that. It's no longer doing its job correctly. And the best solution for that, if you wanted to keep offset bushes, was to change these out to polyurethane offset bushes because the material is gonna be stronger, it's gonna last a lot better than the rubber ones will, and it's gonna hold that alignment so much better for you. If you are thinking of using offset bushes to correct your caster in your solid axle vehicle, we'd recommend only doing this if you have two to three inches of lift. As outside of that, the offset bushes are just too weak to be able to do the job correctly and will fail quite quickly. A better option is to change your radius arms for inbuilt caster correction radius arms to suit your lift. Now these provide a better caster correction than your offset bushes and they are a lot stronger than your factory radius arms, providing you much more peace of mind when you're off-roading. So for the sake of the video, so the way you guys can see a proper comparison, we've gone ahead and fitted standard height bushes into these factory radius arms so we could get the specs on what standard bushes will actually give you. So this car, like mentioned earlier in the video, has a two inch lift and we can quite clearly see we have less than one degree of caster on the front, which is just terrible. The car's not gonna really drive straight quite easily. It's gonna steer quite horribly. And at highway speeds, you're probably gonna notice there's a little bit of wobbling in the steering, which is not good. You, you don't really want that. The overall driving experience is gonna be terrible. So that's why we recommend you get the cast correction options. We've gone ahead and fitted the Super Pro Radius Arms now to the 76 series. And as we can see, the caster has improved once again, especially compared to the caster correction bushes and just the standard height bushes, which only had less than one degree of caster. We're now sitting at just under four degrees. So this is going to enhance the overall handling of the vehicle, help to reduce any tire wear, make the car feel a lot more stable at highway speeds, plus also improve the self-centering of the steering. Now that we understand caster correction, what are the options available for you to be able to fix that caster? Well, at a minimum, we recommend getting caster correction bushes, as these are durable, have an offset in them in order to be able to fix your caster while still using your factory radius arms. However, the best option available is to get new radius arms with inbuilt caster correction for the size lift you have. These have the best possible caster correction and they are far more durable than your standard factory ones. For example, the Super Pro radius arms have 600% less deflection than your standard ones, which prevents cracking. If you have a leaf spring front vehicle like this 60 series, you need to use caster wedges to set your caster. Now, the caster wedges just simply sit in between your leaf springs and the differential to angle it the correct angle in order to set your caster. 
The reason for this is because with leaf spring front vehicles, there is no radius arms to control the caster of the differential. Hopefully this video has helped you understand caster correction for solid axle vehicles and the importance of correcting that caster when you do lift them. Now, if you have any questions regarding the products you've seen in this video, feel free to head on over to the Fulcrum website where you can find out all the product details there. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comment section. Otherwise guys, get out there and go exploring.